I just took the short trade. This is uh, September 19th. This is my second trade today. Um, before I explain why I took the short trade uh, right here, I want to explain how the day has been so far to understand why this level is, was critical in terms of supply and demand as well as the liquidity zone. The reason I took this because initially I took this particular, uh, okay, I'm going to move it down. I took this um, liquidity sweep right here, sh um, like a sh short trade. Um, I, it, the price went back here and then like uh, it did not cross this swing low, this particular low because that's very critical. If at all the price need to go down further, it need to cross this particular low. But it did not. It just like a fin uh, came back close and then went back and then took all the liquidity up, up again. So it did not go further. It went up and then closed the bar, right, right, bar, right below the previous liquidity zone where the liquidity was swept. Okay, So that's why I had to uh, take the trade again right after the bar closed there. Now, um, I don't want it to, usually I usually keep target my field. Okay, target field. But the reason I kept my target right there is because it was struggling to go past this level. That's why I had to keep it, oh, look at that one. Look at that one. I took the perfect <laughs> entry, but I didn't keep the target long. But it's okay because part of the thing is you need to know where to keep the target. I kept the target here because this is the price, um, one, two, and three. It was bouncing back for almost, um, what? 30 40 minutes that's why there's a high chance the price is going to come back until here um, if at all if it's going to move it's going to move but uh, that's why i kept my target right there anyway so let me let's also look at the previous day today is a perfect day in terms of liquidity zones there are a lot of perfect setups okay so we talked about in terms of liquidity swept pull back enter and then swept pull back and enter those setups we thought about in the all the webinars liquidity swept pull back you see the pull back and then went up these setups are happening all day but one important thing which i like the most is the reversal this is the perfect reversal i always expect because i don't know when we don't know when the uh, reversal would happen but look at this one when the sub price was taking out the liquidity taking out liquidity all after taking a liquidity there's new sellers no new sellers coming in but watch here watch here but once the price taken out here look at the new liquidity new sellers coming in as soon as the liquidity was taken up you can see it started right here started right here started right here so moment we saw that okay the, the, now there's a real possibility of reversal because there are no more sellers coming in still you don't take the trade based on your um, anticipation or like a, your guesswork you need to wait till the price action confirms that's when i took the trade right here almost here the reason is i waited till the price went back and then created a lower high you see this lower high once i created the lower high i waited till the bar was like a uh, move below that's my clear confirmation of okay this is a lower lower high after the price uh, creating higher highs and higher lows so the first time it reversed and then I have also the confirmation from the liquidity zones of new sellers coming in. That's why I took this trade. One of the other beauty was I, when I wanted to keep the target, I kept the target right here. I didn't keep the target here, I kept the target here. The reason is I knew the price had a very good move. There's a fair chance it's going to go to the next liquidity level. Okay. It could go here, but I knew definitely it's going to, if at all go, you need to go here, it need to cross here higher chances so I kept my target here but as I expected it went exactly exactly towards exact where the liquidity was look look at here oh my god look at this one where did the price go and then like uh, trying to go back always always on the liquidity zones that's that's the beauty about it I'm not saying it's gonna reverse but at least it goes to liquidity and then like a pullback or a reversal always there's a reaction on the um, liquidity zones again um, all the price, even 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 like if you look at like um, every single swing, every single uh, break uh, breakout, always happened today on the liquidity zones. Right here, right here, right here. This is a trade I took. Okay, so here's what happened. First took first trade. I took the short right here after liquidity swept. I got stopped out because the market makers manipulated my trade in terms of they go back and take the liquidity again. But I knew uh, moment I saw price bar closed below i entered again so that trade was successful so as you guys can saw
Okay. Um, the first six foot trade was here, so that's what I wanted to explain. Even though I didn't record it, but I wanted to go through uh, why yeah, I took the trade in terms of those things. I don't really recommend anybody taking the reversals when they're starting out. Always I recommend taking the go with the trend. Go with the trend. Okay. So when I say go with the trend, look out for the liquidity continue, price action continue after liquidity was gone. Price action continue after liquidity is gone. Those are the perfect trade along with the trend. Go with the trend. That's the highest possibilities. You can see that uh, sellers become buyers, all those things. Um, anyway, look at this. This one is turning its into reversal. Hopefully, um, you get my point in terms of the reversals, price action on the liquidity zones. Have a great day.